Uh, welcome, everybody, and uh, we're excited that you're here. Uh, this is a great event, and my good friend Bill McLeod uh, talked me into doing this. There were supposed to be some evangelist that was supposed to do this MC part, but apparently he was busy doing something else. I, I, I don't know the whole story behind it. But I spoke to Josh earlier, and uh, he said we could go ahead, and that he was ready to go, and he's fired up tonight. So I'm excited to, to hear what he has to say. Tonight we're going to talk about God's perspective on missions and uh, what that's all about. We're going to have some fun tonight. You're going to be challenged tonight uh, by some of the information and news that you have. And hopefully you're going to catch this vision uh, uh, that Bill has and that Missions Connection has and uh, for mobilizing uh, all of us here in the United States to reach the world uh, for the good news of Jesus Christ. And, and that's what it's all about. Um, we have victory in Christ, and we are victorious joining with him. But it is a big task, as you will see tonight, and most of you know. It's a daunting task. It can seem that way. But we are victorious, and we are gaining ground every day. And that's what this is about, is to propel the good news of Christ to the whole world. So we're going to talk about that tonight in detail. And the first thing that we've got tonight is a great friend of Missions Connection from day one. Uh, Kevin Palau is here tonight. Kevin is the president of Luis Palau Association. Um, he is also the founder and the visionary behind Season of Service which all of you in this room are aware of. I'm sure you've seen it on TV. I think Reader's Digest had an article on it, USA Today. It's been all over the news. It's been an amazing uh, success uh, across the, the country. So we've, we've got him here tonight to, to, uh, to help us. Um, I want to say a personal note about Kevin and Andrew and Luis, though, from from Bill and the Mission Connection team, me included. Uh, these three guys and their staff have been an amazing support, uh, both financially with office space, and then just the morale uh, that the team has gotten through the last 10 years from Kevin and his dad and, and brother and the whole staff there. And we want to say and recognize right now, thank you guys so much for the belief in that. So come on up here. Um, Kevin is going to pray for our dinner tonight, and then we're going to have some kind of a contest. Katie said I could leave this open about who gets to eat first, and I know Tom Cole is right here, so maybe we'll start with him. He looks hungry. So, Kevin, can you pray for us, and we'll get started. I sure can. Thank you so much, Scott. And like all the rest of you, I'm so excited to be here at what really is a new, fresh launch of Mission Connection. Not that the conference hasn't been going for years, but really to have Bill, who I've known since I was in high school, which is hard to believe. We won't tell either of us how old we are now, but for more than 25 years, we've, we've known each other. And to see now Bill in this perfect role, I think you've got this perfect vision with just the right guy, and all of us are here because in various ways we've already been supportive, most of us, volunteering, uh, helping launch it, but now to be at this new phase is very exciting for Michelle and I and all the Palau team. And let's pray so we can start eating. Father, we're grateful for being a small part of your kingdom in this small part of your great world, the universe. Lord, we can't fathom how it is that you think of us, and yet your word tells us and we've experienced your love personally. We long to see that love shared across the entire world. We're so grateful for Bill, for the leadership of Mission Connection. And Lord, please, we pray throughout this whole evening as Josh shares with us and opens your word, as we hear from Bill, and as we have a particular challenge to get involved financially. Lord, speak to our hearts, we pray. We give everything that happens this evening into your hands in Christ's name. Amen. Great dinner. Thank you for everybody putting that together. Katie, thanks for all of your work. Well, we're here tonight uh, to launch a ministry into a new stage. Uh, for the last 10 years, uh, Mission Connection has been completely volunteer run. 
And uh, it's an event that draws a lot of people every year. And it's about mobilizing uh, people into action in the mission field. And so we're going to get into some detail. Bill is going to come up and speak in a few minutes. And, and Josh is going to uh, talk to us about that. Um, and we're excited to get this vision for the future of missions and, and really taking this to a whole new level. So, um, but in the meanwhile, uh, we're going to watch a video. Uh, Pioneers is one of the organizations that uh, Mission Connection has been involved with for some time. And it's an organization that is on the, really the front of, uh, of uh, the Muslim world in particular. And we're going to take a look at this. It's a couple of minutes. Um, and then later, uh, after Bill and Josh have spoke, uh, Kevin's going to come back up, Kevin Palau, and talk to us all about how we can be, uh, get behind this movement and, and what role we can have in this. So let's go ahead and roll that video, and we'll talk to you in a minute. I get a great privilege tonight. I, you don't get to do this too many times in your life. Uh, when God brings somebody into your life and, and you immediately feel a bond. Uh, Bill, Bill McLeod, the founder of Mission Connection, is one of those people for me. I met Bill uh, probably three, three years ago, roughly. Uh, we started going to the same church. I think God had a plan there. I certainly didn't see myself standing in front of a group of people when I met Bill the first time, but I should have been aware. And I don't think this will be the last time uh, as God works in his life. Bill is a tremendous man of faith. He has a tremendous God-given vision for missions. He is somebody that has been incredibly obedient. For 10 years, he has had this vision for mission connection. And in the most difficult times, has stayed true to the vision that God has given him and has been faithful. As I've gotten to know Bill more and more and spent a lot of time with him over the last year or two, and when I say a lot of time, if you meet with Bill, it's a lot of time. Uh, standing out in my driveway at midnight on Saturday night, uh, House Church started at 5, and at midnight, Bill is still enthusiastically telling me about what Jesus is doing and, and how missions and, 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 and what's happening, what God's putting on his heart. And this isn't a one-time thing. This is his life. He's dedicated himself to this. And I'll tell you right now, I, I've gotten caught up in it, and it's a good thing because this is the call that God gives to all of us to reach the world with the good news of Jesus. That's everybody. That's just not here 